I knew, I knew, I knew. No. Oh! Oh! Sailor suit. Oh. And well, a very good morning to you. Uh, welcome along. Here we are, final day of the SSDT Centenary event. It certainly is. Can't good believe it. Yeah, good morning, listeners. Good morning, Mr. Ogster. Morning, Mr. Morning, Telly Bob. Telly Bob is there. Telly Bob, come on down in front of the telly. Come on, he's feeling a bit delicate today. He was out doing some rock and roll lifestyle type things last night. Was he? Yeah. He needs one of those energy drinks first thing in the morning. Oh Watch, yeah, don't tip over any cables now. Yeah. Don't take that with you and don't show it on camera. We're not allowed to do that. Oh. I stopped him there. See, stopped we did that. It's see called product died, placement. I turn around. Telly there Bob. you go. Telly Bob is here, everybody. Morning. There you go. Right, go back. Just been into the makeup tent, especially to be shown in. <laughs> to be made up that colour. Yeah, yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, also, change of operative. Yeah. We've got Daniel back there. Daniel, back yeah. there. Back there. Back at HQ. HQ. Good morning. See, he sounds so much more refreshed. Oh, ah, morning, Daniel. Have you, have you, have you met Daniel? Uh, have we met? No. We talked last year, that's right. Oh, we're talking we again this year. Ah, that's that's right. Okay. Excellent. Okay. No. Well, well, we might be able to arrange that. Yes. You could perhaps have a, a special meeting with his honour. Yeah, yeah. Daniel. Mm. No, no, y you're your honour because you're <laughs> in control of everything. And, yeah. uh, you yes, know. your honour. Yes, your honour. <laughs> yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. Uh, we have the results uh, in first thing this morning as well. We'll give you the results so once uh, you work your calculus because you have a special note there. It's already done. Is it done? We're ready to rock and roll. Are you sure? Absolutely right. Okay, tell there you what, there's Dan no Daniel, keep a, piece of uh, keep a piece of music going. Let's have a top ten then. Top well, ten. First, uh, early in the morning. Top ten early in the morning. Yep. Scottish Six Days Trial 2011, the centenary edition. Uh, results after Friday, the fifth day. Of course, now we're moving into the final day. In the lead now on the factory beta is reigning British champion James Dable. He's on nine marks lost. Second position, Alex Wigg, 13. Graham Jarvis is in third spot on 14. Michael Brown is in fourth position on the gas gas on 15. Um, Dougie Lampkin slipped away back there to fifth position in, on 22 marks lost. Gary McDonald on the gas gas in sixth position on 28. Ian Ouster Mool in 7th position on 29. Sam Connors clawed his way up to 8th position there on 31, former winner. Uh, Dan Thorpe in 9th position on 31. And in 10th position, Ben Hemingway on 32 marks lost. Now, yes. um, oh. shall we do the Scottish and local riders? Well, we can do, but we've got a bit of an announcement as to make as well. That oh we yes, were first thing this morning we were asked to do this. Yeah, um, rider 231, Andrew Battensby, uh, riding yesterday, uh, round about the first section at Piper's Burn, he put his tool bag down, now it's a Gellert brand tool bag, it's got quite a lot of equipment in it that he'd like back please, so whether a rider has picked up the wrong tool bag yesterday or not, we're not quite sure, but if they have, could they contact the SSDT office with this tool bag, because obviously Andrew has not got any tools to start the morning, um, so that was a Gellert style um, haversack filled with tools. It was put down at the Piper's Burn section yesterday uh, for collection by the rider. By the time he rode the section, he came back down and picked it, well, went to pick it up, um, it had gone. So uh, right. could you return that to the SSDT office if you found that you picked up a bag? Or if you thought that the bag had been discarded uh, by mistake and thought you were doing a good thing by mm -hmm. lifting it and taking it away. Yeah. If you could uh, hand it into the Scottish Six Days Trial HQ at the Ben Nevis Hotel, if you can't do that, could you hand it into um, the local police station perhaps if you're not in a position to hand it into yeah. a hotel? Or take it down here. Or bring it down here and we'll help helpfully uh, sort it out. That's right, a 231. Uh, first one away, of course, this morning as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, uh, can we do the, we will do the Scottish ones? Do you want to crack on? Yeah, I'm just trying to find... It's a bit of a wind out. getting up here. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to protect you from this element, you know. All ah, right, okay. By standing in front of you, watching you work. Hold on. I'm holding. He's trying to find the right bit of paper here. There's not many bits of paper. We've got to thank the, uh, the team at the SSDT office for compiling yes, this thank you special very much. edition it for you. It uh, reduces the, the workload on my brain cells, apparently. Yeah, well, uh, they're very few and far between now. Exactly. Right? Yeah. 
Thank now you. then, Scottish and local riders. Um, in the lead at the moment is local rider Gary MacDonald from Kinlochleven. He's on 28 marks lost. In second position in the Scottish riders is Neil Dawson from Dunfermline. He's on 186. In third position, uh, Inverness rider and former Scottish champion Gavin Johnson on 192. In fourth position, Ian McPhail on 195. Uh, in fifth position, Andrew Anderson from Killin on 201. In sixth position, Lee Shanky on 206. In seventh position, Stuart Rocket from uh, Livingston on 243. In eighth position, uh, on 246, is Ian, Shed sorry, Ian Shedden from uh, Torreyburn in Fife. In ninth position is Alan MacDonald, formerly from Malig. Um, he's in 270 marks lost. Grant Adamson from Newcastleton is in tenth position on 294. Peter Carmichael from Corpac is in eleventh position on 321. Twelfth position is Murray Whitaker from Stonehaven on 323. In thirteenth position is George Noble from Skirling Bigger on 335. In fourteenth position is local rider John Sanderson on 339. In fifteenth position, Duncan Mitchell from Aberdeen is in 341 marks lost. In sixteenth position is David Moffat from Culloden on 357 marks lost. In seventeenth position is Grant Reid from Edinburgh on 368. In 18th position is local rider and Lochaber Mountain Rescue team member Dougie Gibson on 380 marks lost. In 19th position is Gordon Murray uh, from, from uh, Edmonton, he's in 384 marks. In 20th position is local gamekeeper Ewan Campbell on 385. In 21st position is uh, Lewis Bell from Gorebridge Midlothian on 405. In 22nd position is Frank Mackle, local rider from Tain, he's in 417 marks lost. Scott Gordon from Pathhead Midlothian is in 23rd position on 445. On 24th position is Ian Buckner from Bathgate West Lothian on 450. In 25th position, uh, local rider from Fort William Gavin Brown was on 471 marks lost. On 26th position is Ian Shanky from Barhead uh, Lanarkshire. Um, he's in 490 marks lost. And bring up the rear in 27th spot is Gary the Fish McLennan, local man from Fort William, on 498 marks lost. Well done, you. Thank you. Security's arrived. Security's arrived. Yeah. I caught him out the corner of my eye. Did you really? I did indeed. Because, you know, he's very svelte, and, and he sort of came in there like a, like a, a seal. It was his high vis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah gr crawling along the ground, chasing a ball. Throw him some fish, he'll be quite okay. What, raw or cooked? Yeah. Bit of sushi in the morning. Sushi. Yeah. Can't be bad. Okay. So uh, we welcome you along Saturday morning. It's the final day of the SSDT Centenary event here on Nevis Radio. Now, we've got first song of the day. What do we have, young fella, me lad? Let's go. <laughs> well, we'll do if you, you use, the, use the mouse instead then. And hit the fader. Hit the fader, it's only one on one side, I think. To one.
Daniel after this, go straight to our break, and then uh, tune and then come back to us. We'll just take it easy today. Take it easy.